So for more on the economy, we turn now to Robert Engel. He's the 2003 Nobel Laureate in Economics. Engel is currently a professor of finance at the NYU Stern School of Business, and he joins us now from Geneva. Good morning. Now, you are more confident <laughs> about the economy than you were, say, six months ago. So what green shoots are you focusing on now? Well, what I see if when I look at the at the economy, I look primarily first at the volatility. And one of the things we see is that the financial market volatility has dropped dramatically since last fall. It, but it's still well above normal. And so what I think we're seeing is we're seeing that the worst scenarios that we were concerned about last fall aren't going to happen. We're okay. not going to have banks nationalized. Okay. When you talk about when you talk <laughs> about the volatility, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> so, what do I mean by volatility? I mean, maybe I'm meaning the VIX, but also uh, various other measures of volatility for other sectors are all showing the same sort of patterns. You mentioned that the volatility has come down, but it's still higher than it had been. Is this the new normal then? I don't think so. I think that we're still seeing elevated volatility because there's a lot of uncertainty about what's going to happen. Your economic report show, argued that, uh, and I think correctly, that the economy has not yet bottomed out, that the green shoots that we can foresee are somewhat in the future, and I think the financial markets reflect that. What we've also seen rise in recent weeks is, of course, bond yields. To what extent is that a signal to governments about having to rein in their budget deficits? Well, I think that there is one of the uh, concerns about the future. You're talking about Treasury yields. One of the concerns about the future is that uh, we're going to see inflation. Inflation would be a cheap way of solving this giant budget deficit that we've uh, uh, committed to, and uh, I think that the financial markets are worried about that. How does the U.S. compare with the rest of the world, Europe or Asia? I think a, a, lot of, a lot of countries are in the same problem. I think that a particular place to pay attention is uh, Eastern Europe, where uh, we hear a lot about Latvia in the news, whether they're going to have to value because they have such serious uh, budget deficits, and on top of that, a lot of uh, foreign borrowing, but we also have Ireland and we've got, well, we've certainly uh, seen Iceland as, uh, as a good example, but there is a lot of concern that some of these economies are pretty weak still. Right. Eastern Europe certainly a hot spot. Now, fellow laureate Paul Krugman predicted a recovery as early as September. What kind of timeline do you see? Uh, I think that the bottom is probably going to be, the bottom in the growth in GDP is probably going to be later in the year than that, but I, it's, it's hard to know. All right. Our thanks to Robert Engel, Nobel laureate and professor of finance at the NYU Stern School of Business. Thank you very much.